The movie opens as a television hostess named Monica is interviewing a sole survivor of the Miles County Massacre, whose face is now disfigured due to the deadly encounter on Halloween night, a year ago. When Monica asks about the assault, the interviewee says, the killer was dressed in a clown get up and she saw him die afterwards. As she speaks, a person crushes the TV set through which he is seeing the interview, revealed to be Art the clown himself. Art then dresses himself in clown makeup and assembles a bag of sharp objects and brings them with him. Following the interview, Monica is sitting in her dressing room and talking to her significant other on the phone. She speaks derogatorily about the woman she just interviewed but doesn't realize someone is lurking behind her and is probably offended by her words. She then gets a call from someone named Tom, but the caller is inaudible on the other end. Then, Monica sees clothes rustling on a rack and when she checks it revealed to be the interviewee who attacks Monica, violently and gouges out her eyes and laughs, leaving her to look as disfigured as she is. The next scene takes us to the Halloween night where, two young women, Tara and Don, walking down a sidewalk to their car after an evening of partying. They both are drunk excessively. As they are discussing their plans, they spot Art the clown with his bag of weapons, creepily staring at them. Don finds him endearing on Halloween night and pretends to flirt with him but Tara feels that there's something off about him. While the two look away, Art vanishes. Later, Tara and Don gets hungry and enters in a pizza restaurant. Seconds later, Art enters in the same restaurant and sits there at a table next to them. He continuously stares at Tara and begins making faces. Tara is then spooked by him, but Don accosts him and asks to take selfies with him, which he allows. Then the owner of the pizzeria comes and asks if Art would like any food, but the clown remains silent, even as Don informs him that their selfie has amassed 8 likes on social media. After a while, Art walks up to their table, shows Tara a trick and put a ring on her finger and goes to restroom before the pizzeria owner brings the two young ladies their pizza. When the pizzeria owner decides to check on Art in the restroom, he notices that Art smeared his shit and urine all over the restroom and kick Art out of the restaurant right away. Afterwards, Tara and Don walks up to their car to head back home and find the car tire has been slashy. They call Tara's sister, Vicky, who agrees to pick them up. Back inside the pizzeria, an employee finally finishes cleaning the shit from the restroom and when he exits, he discovers his manager's decapitated head, crafted into a jack-o'-lantern. Terrified, the employee runs for his life but discovers that he is locked inside. Art then proceeds to kill him by brutally stabbing in the face numerous times. Tara and Don are now inside the car, continue to argue about whether the clown was dangerous. A while later, Tara says, she has to go bathroom. She manages to convince a worker named Mike to let her inside the building and use the urinal. Mike reveals her that the building is infested with rats. Meanwhile, Don is listening to the radio inside the car, where he hears that the two men working at the pizzeria were murdered and the police are searching for a man who fits the description of the clown she and Tara met earlier. As she realizes it, it was already late for her. Because Art the clown manages to enter her car. Meanwhile, Tara, attempts to leave the building and wanders into the basement, where he suddenly stumbles upon a weird-looking lady who is holding baby doll as if it is her real baby. Weirded out, Tara proceeds to exit, but she finds Art creepily standing near the door, then she flees as he pursues her. She hides among the cars in the building's parking lot for a while but Art finds her and stabs her in the leg as she tries to escape. She strikes him in the face and attempts to flee. She then finds Mike cleaning the room and tries to get his attention, but unfortunately, Mike has headphones on, so he doesn't hear her screaming. Then, Art grabs Tara off guard and injects her with a drug-filled syringe before Mike notices anything. The next time Tara wakes up, she finds herself in a basement, tied to a chair and is terrified, when finds Art sitting next to her. Art then begins teasing her with different weapons from his bag, such as gliding a hacksaw over her neck and threatens her with it before pulling back a curtain to reveal Don, hung up upside down from the ceiling. Art saws Don in half as Tara screams in protest. As Art finishes killing Don, Tara manages to break free and stab Art in the back before running away. Art then takes a knife and begins to stalk the grounds for her. She sneaks up on him and beats him with a wooden plank until he reveals a gun and shoots her in the leg. As Tara tries to crawl away, he shoots her in the face then walks away to find more bullets, leaving her dying on the floor. Then, Tara's sister, Vicky finally arrives at the location to pick the two women up. She tries to enter from building's front door but it is locked, so she texts Don, asking for their location. Art then impersonates Don via text and tells Vicky that Tara is sick and thus, she should come around the back. At that point, 
Art proceeds to take a selfie with Don's mutilated body as she did earlier in the restaurant. After reloading his gun, Art returns to Tara and shoots her in the head to dead in view of the crazy woman. Terrified, crazy woman runs away to inform Mike what's going on but he doesn't believe her and leaves. When Mike heads downstairs, he hears Vicky's calling and tries calling a friend to inform something's off in the building. But, Art suddenly sneaks behind him and knocks him unconscious with a hammer before smashing his phone. On the other side of the building, Vicky goes around the back of the building in search of Don and Tara. Meanwhile, the crazy lady finds out that her baby doll is missing and begins to look for it. She then sees Art the clown holding her baby, and walks up to him. She desperately tries to embrace his Mike in a motherly hug and beg for the return of her child. A while after, Mike's friend arrives because of the phone call from earlier, but is unable to reach Mike because the doors are locked. Inside the building, Vicky calls Don and hears Don's phone ring and follows the noise, where she finds Don's mutilated dead body and flees from the room. She then enters a basement area where he finds a girl laying on the floor. She rushes to help her, but suddenly finds the crazy woman, who has been scalped and it is revealed, the girl on the floor is actually Art, wearing crazy lady's scalp. After this, Vicky desperately tries to escape, but the windows are sealed. Then, she hides in a metal wardrobe. However, Art spots her but, instead of killing her, he decides to toy with her. Meanwhile, Mike's friend finally finds a spare key and enters the building, but all of a sudden Art stabs him in the head, decapitates him with another blade, after he finds the Emily doll. Back to Vicky, she comes out of hiding and runs for the door, but it's locked. Then, Art appears riding a tricycle, forcing her to hide some more. When Vicky sneaks into a hallway, Art sneaks up behind her, and begins suffocating her with a plastic wrap. But Vicky somehow manages to rip the plastic bag and escapes his grip. Then, she stabs a nail on his feet before running away. Meanwhile, in the other side of the building, it is revealed, Mike is still alive. Vicky stops running when she discovers her sister's corpse and begins to cry. While Vicky, having an emotional breakdown, Art sneaks up behind her and strikes her with a metal shards. Then Mike arrives, surprises Art and knocks him out. He takes Vicky to safety and calls the police on a nearby phone to alert them of the situation before trying to escape with Vicky. They then attempt to get out of the building, but Art the clown shows up and beats the man and crushes his head, then begins to strangle Vicky, who manages to stab him in the eye and finally escape the building and hide in a nearby garage after nearly being recaptured. But as the police arrive, Art drives a truck through the garage, hitting Vicky and knocking her unconscious. At that point, the police catch Art as he begins eating Vicky's face. When he faces the police, he shoots himself inside his mouth. Later, the officers discover that Vicky is still alive. In the next scene, all of the corpses are brought to a morgue, including Art's. As the doctor unzips the bag for autopsy, the lights begin to flicker madly, and then, it is revealed that Art the clown is still alive. He awakens and chokes the coroner to death. The next scene starts after a year later, where we see Vicky surrounded by her family. But when she turns around, we see her disfigured face and it is revealed that Vicky is the interviewee from the televised interview during the opening of the film. The whole thing about the murder was flashback from the previous year. So, that's the end of our movie. If you've come this far, make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe my channel. See you later.